I'm not the type of runner to be motivated enough to go outside and run to make myself feel better for my mental health. I'm not driven like that. But if I'm training for something, I will show up for it. I was like, you know what? Let me enter the lottery for the RBC Brooklyn half in May. Let's just see what happens. Wasn't planning on running any marathons this year. And I got in. So here we are. First week of training. I've ran five now, maybe six, five or six half marathons. Every time my goal has been just to finish and just to like get there and enjoy the day. But I really want to focus on speed work and I really want to focus on pushing myself and my athletic ability just to see what happens because I'm typically a very slow runner. I wanna go zoom zoom this time around. So I'm trying the Hal Higdon training program. I thought it was a 10 week program, not a 12 week program. So I'm already like a week behind. So today's workout is, I don't even know what this means. Five 400 meter um, sprints at a 5K pace. I don't even know what my 5K pace is. I got new running shoes. You should see these. These shoes are awesome. These are Solomon's. Taking these out for another spin today. If you're new here, hey, I'm Chelsea. I'm a 30 something living alone here in New York City. I am a recreational runner who mostly just runs so they can brag about it. I'm kidding, but also kind of not. I ran the New York Marathon with plantar fasciitis last year, so I have definitely earned the right to never shut up about it, but it's been since then that I've trained for something. So this video is all about getting amped up for a new training block, figuring out nutrition, goals, and how my body's adjusting to this new routine. Also, some usual heart-to-heart -heart voiceovers, of course. So if that sounds like something you're interested in watching, I invite you to stick around. I love wearing my marathon merch. <laughs> I paid so much money for this. Okay, let's go. I feel like that went as good as it could have. I think my muscles are just still very tight, especially my hips too. It feels like I'm undoing a knot every time I work out now, every time I stretch after a run. Slowly but surely, I think they'll loosen back up to like the normal amount. Plain oatmeal. This is such a throwback. I got so tired of this, but it really works. Here we are, back at it. <laughs> called winter running. Today's three mile run. Three mile run. Hopefully it'll be quick. This is my first time running the RBC Brooklyn Half Marathon. The past two years without even trying, I've ran two hours, 25 minutes each time on a very hilly course. So my goal is to work towards sub two hours for this one. This particular course in the first half wraps around Prospect Park. And then the second half is mostly downhill to Coney Island finishing on that boardwalk which is really cool. I'm kind of excited and happy that there's no slow incline bridge for this course. So I think maybe this might be the perfect one to try in PR. Is anyone else running this in May? Let's go, baby. I overdressed. You know when you do things that you haven't done for a while, but it really makes you feel like yourself. I'm just really grateful to have recovered from my foot injury and to be able to be out here again training for another New York City half. I feel the, the runners on it. Please forgive me if I have like dried snot on my nose. <laughs> Oopsies. It feels amazing to be back out there. Being able to train for something during the day, it's a game changer, especially like it frees up my nights a lot, you know, at least for now. I'm just gonna appreciate it while I have it. I went a lot faster than I thought I would. 
I'm honestly not used to pushing myself in my runs because I, I like to be out there enjoying myself. So I just kind of jog. I don't even really run. My pace was average 914 per mile, which is like nearly my race pace. So maybe I'll end up running this thing faster than I thought. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Go me. And there are a lot of hills too. So I'm still impressed. So I went to the grocery store after and I got a protein shake and a pint of ice cream, New York strawberry cheesecake flavor. It just sounds really, really good. It's a bunch of little things I have to buy. I don't know where I, my fanny pack went. I don't know if I accidentally threw it out or what. So I have to, I think I have to get a new one. I have plenty of electrolytes. I should get more running socks. I think I just need some like updated running clothes. Honestly, my pants are kind of worn out. This is my only good pair of long running pants. This week has been kind of playing it by ear um, with gear and figuring out what I need to buy. Running is an expensive hobby, man. Yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna do some strength training, some yoga, like flexibility work. And then Saturday, uh, Sunday, I'm gonna get at it with my long run. And that will conclude the first week of training. You ready? Do it just like we practiced. Hi, I'm Chelsea's roommate. This is my first sponsorship, who is Factor, who is sponsoring to this video today. I love Factor. Just breathe, you're super stiff and it's hard to watch. <laughs> so sorry, I'm, I'm just really nervous. <laughs> okay. Do I need to take over for you? Can we cut, can we cut? No, it's okay, you can do it. Say how you feel. <laughs> you love Factor. You literally won't stop eating my meals because they are so delicious and there are over 35 different options you can choose from each week. Yeah, including keto and vegan and veggie. Each meal is handcrafted, chef prepared, and dietitian approved. So the only thing you have to worry about is which one you're gonna eat next. <laughs> Get it together or you're fired. It's so easy to unbox straight into your fridge. Let's make this one, chipotle rubbed pork chop. Just stab a couple holes right there on the top and it only takes two minutes to heat up in the microwave. Chelsea, tell everyone your experience with Factor while I plate this up. Okay, yeah, sure. Hey everyone, we are coming up on almost a full year that I've been eating Factor meals and I find Factor especially helpful during these times of training for my runs because I can depend on them to fuel me properly since they are fresh and never frozen meals. I personally noticed it's made a huge difference in my energy levels eating the right foods and sometimes for me who doesn't really like to cook, that's just not possible without factor. I'm ready, please go. See, no prep, no mess. Fuel up with factors, restaurant quality meals that are ready to heat and eat whenever you are. Let's try a bite, shall we? That's really good. Stop chewing so loud. Make sure to head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code CHELCAL50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. Let me repeat that so you don't forget. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code CHELCAL50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life, two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. I'll go so far to say that I hate strength training. They're my least favorite days of my training program. I used to be a huge yoga and Pilates fan, but I don't know what it is. It's been so hard to sit still without a screen lately, and I, I get anxiety if I'm not constantly checking my phone, which is weird. But anyways, quick trigger warning here for body image, weight gain, weight loss, etc. I've touched on before that for many years, running my half marathons was kind of a toxic cycle for me. It was a way for me to lose weight super fast in the beginning of the year after the holidays. And after finishing the marathon in November, I was the lowest weight I had been since I was 16. And to no surprise, I got a ton of positive reinforcement in person and online for how my body looked, which is why I say it's always best to not make any comments about someone's body, even if you think you're complimenting them because you never know how it will actually affect them. And my body was not naturally supposed to be like that and I knew that. I was a little worried how it would affect my mental health when I inevitably gained the weight back. But over time, something had changed. I realized that personally, I had lacked a lot of respect for my body until it ran me 26.2 miles. And now my whole perception of my body has changed to complete 
awe and and more respect that I could even do such a thing, especially being hypothyroid. So how my body looks matters so much less to me now and I did not expect that. A lot of anxiety I once had has changed to gratitude. And even though I have gained a lot of the weight back, I don't hate myself for it at all like I might have in the past. It's still a work in progress, you know, I'm, I'm not saying I'm completely healed and perfect, but I just think it's cool how even in my 30s, old habits don't have to die hard, that our relationships to our bodies never stop evolving, and sometimes that leads to some sort of healing, and that's pretty cool. I'm tired. One of the most important parts of training is sleep, which is exactly what I'm about to do. Happy Sunday. I don't know why I'm so tired today. I was like so energized on my last run, like ready to go. Like I feel like myself again. <laughs> you can hear I am on Sunday, like it's 2 p.m. And um, I got out of bed to just go take a nap on the couch. I'm just like in pure cinnamon roll mode and I don't want to do anything. But I have a list of things to do today. And it didn't help that daylight savings was last night. So I already lost an hour. I hate, maybe I'm the only one in the world that hates daylight savings in the springtime. I don't want an extra hour of sun, just me personally. I feel more relaxed and more calm when the sun sets early because then I just don't feel a pressure to be productive. All the decor is from last night. I had a housewarming party over live, live on YouTube. I was so tired after that. So I drank coffee, great. I had some oatmeal with blueberries. And now I'm drinking some water, but I have this. These I'm gonna try. I've never tried science and sport running gels, but I got the variety pack. Can you see? I have a five mile run today. So technically I don't really need a gel, but I would like one. And these are massive. These are huge. See what I mean? It's like the same size as my hand. What? Isotonic energy, what does isotonic mean? Isotonic gels contain the correct water electrolyte balance. These gels are thinner due to added water. That's good. And often include essential electrolytes like potassium, sodium, and magnesium, which aid in hydration. I might be the only person on the planet who reads the directions on gels. <laughs> which one should we try? Tropical. <gasps> we should do tropical. I'm gonna take it before I leave, like 15 minutes before I leave. But I'm just gonna do the motions of getting ready and trick my brain to get out this door. What do I wear? What's the weather? Oh, it's raining right now. Is it? I need my glasses. I don't see any rain. It's fine. consistency is freaking weird. It's definitely low sugar, which I like. It's not as like gooey as the goo gels, <laughs> which I like, but I feel like it just takes getting used to. I like the flavor. Okay, it does go down pretty easy. Sometimes when gels are too thick, it just gets stuck in my mouth. We're warmed up, we're ready. The gel is hidden. I got a little like ear wrap on the side of my face, it's a, like, I bought this off of Amazon years ago to keep my ears warm when I run. If my ears are cold, I start to get a headache and then I just don't enjoy anything, but I feel like I look like I, I don't know. My tiniest little ponytail just sticking out in the back. So sad. <laughs> the rain. There's like a full mile uphill on this bridge. It used to be so easy for me, and it's kicking my ass, but I get to turn around soon and go down it. I just wanted to home to get my mind off of it because this sucks. Oh man, first week. I really can't wait to see the progress. 
Okay, we'll see the end inside. I had to stop to walk. You know, I'd never stop during my runs, but it's okay if I do. Because I'm still in, I'm just in week one. Um, soon I won't need to, but today I do. Because if your body is warm, you have a little way to go. That was a, I'm so out of breath. That was a rough one. <laughs> for one, I have to start running with my GoPro again. It's way easier for me to vlog with a GoPro and to keep things steady than a phone, but last you saw, I was walking on a bridge. But I walked for like 0.3 miles, I think, and then I continued on. And I ended up crushing it. <laughs> Low key. That was a roller coaster, though. Um, the beginning was in wind chill with like, it wasn't even rain, it was more sleet. It, it kind of hurt hitting my face. It says my average was 10 minute miles, but that's a stretch. <laughs> Moving time was 50 minutes, 52 seconds. Honestly, running 50 minutes in my first week, I'm really proud of myself for doing that. I haven't done that in so long and 50 minutes is a long time. Oh, my max heart rate was 181. Yeah, that was really, really high. I like how I just have a random balloon <laughs> hanging out from the housewarming party. <laughs> I think I'm really gonna have to double down on strength training in this training block because that's something I regretted from my runs last year or my races last year was that I didn't feel like my legs were strong enough to keep me going at some points and it would put a lot of pressure in my hips. Like my training plan now is running five days and one day of strength training, but I think I'm going to change that to two days of strength training, um, at least in the beginning, and then maybe I'll change to more days later on. Anyways, someone down my street was selling strawberries that looked delicious. Look at that. For $1.99. How? Like, why? What? These are beautiful. Why are they $1.99? Off season. Maybe it's the pesticide special, I don't know. Diet is gonna be everything and I'm really excited that I have Factor. A lot of protein and a lot of carbs. Focusing on those two throughout training blocks are really important for me and not just eating total crap. Last night I ate a half a pizza to myself and I feel like I feel that today. And yeah, onwards and upwards. Th this is gonna be a fun video to look back on later in training, I think, and see kind of how far I come. If you like this video, um, make sure to give the video a thumbs up before you go, leave a comment to say hi, and if you found anything helpful, or if you're a runner, beginner, or seasoned runner, and you have any tips, leave them in the comments. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing on the road to 100k, so make sure you're subscribed. Sometimes YouTube like unsubscribes people, and they don't even know it, so just make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you in my next video. Woo! First week of training done! Good job, everybody. High five. <laughs> I'll see you in my next one. Love you. Bye.